Where are we going quest wise? There should be something on that hill in that ruins. Oh, bloody hell, so many quests everywhere. A fell glimmer. This tomb is glowing. Defeat Astakov. I vaguely remember this one being around before the North Downs redone. Okay, so we killed two little lights, now we've got a big light. Uh, it's not too bad actually, all things considered. That said, it is starting to get me down a bit. Should be fine. There we go. Um, Orgraves, that's red around here. I assume red is the hounds, maybe. No, hounds are everywhere. Bloodthirsty guys to the south. Hunting ornithrons around here somewhere. So let's climb this big hill over here. So yeah, as you can see, there are many, many ghosts from the Fallen Kingdom of Men. And this is why nobody goes to these uh, these fields around Fornost. But Fornost itself is actually uh, a collection of instances. Um, and the level which they open up, I'm not entirely sure, because they lowered it since I was last through this way. Um, always a red ghost. Red means bad. So yeah, back in the days, Fornos used to be a single instance, which was pretty big, pretty very long, um, quite tiring in that regard. Oh, how did these all find me at the same time? Um, so yeah, they decided to break it down into four different wings, which technically occur chronologically one after the other. And the first time you do them, you have to do them in the right order, just to unlock the second, third and fourth wings respectively. Um, but they kept the level range at level 40, getting a bit dangerous here. There we go. Um, but I think they did level it down a bit till 30 or something. But I'll know as soon as it pops up when I unlock it. But those are six man instances, each of those. So four, six mans there. Uh, and to unlock those, you need the North Downs quest pack or be VIP. Um, Okay, can't actually stealth and crit this guy in the backside because he's out of combat until we speak to him. That ruins the art of stealth. And I've gone in there way too early and not let myself regen. Let's pop knives out. And he's put a fear effect on me, and that fear effect could be the end of me because knives out is not going to apply to that. That's not doing too much. He's doing damage, 76 damage every four, but I'll live. Um, what have we got? There should be a grave around the back. Yeah, it's around that belt wall. Um, actually getting a fair bit of quests done actually in the North Downs. If that's the final quest indeed and we only need 45 quests and I've done that, just, just levelling in this part of the North Downs, never mind like Anandir, um, the Western Nanamlug, the Eastern Nanamlug, all the quests in Doldine and all that. It's not too bad. Um, did use that, didn't I? Two more graves, where are you? Probably to the south. Let's go look around there. Uh, I'm just going to run past that dog that I've aggroed. I don't need it. Uh, it's probably one on this hill. Maybe not. There's lots of people on that hill. There's a grave. Try and work out the best way of going around here. There's two in this one. Brilliant. Okay, everything's attacking me. Not good. Alright. Now, I bet you one of these ghosts is going to take a little stroll. Yep. Right in front of me. I knew that was going to happen. It just had to, didn't it? Just had to take a little walk in my direction, then decide, oh look, there's a hobbit burglar down there, let's go kill it. 
Right. Okay, well, that ghost died either to a bleed or my knives out. Yeah. Knives out can save you in a pinch. It just means loads of enemies take damage from hitting you. It's brilliant. Yeah, one of the funniest things on one of my burglars is uh, in one of the skirmish raids, there's this big troll, which if you don't uh, do the tactics properly, it gets stacking damage buffs, so it starts hitting ridiculously hard, and it just starts one-shotting everyone. And by the time it gets to that point, it pretty much becomes out of control and very hard to get back under control again, because you can't do anything without being one-shotted. So that troll starts hitting you for like millions and millions of damage. Um, and on my burglar, I hit knives out. The troll hit me for about 15 odd million damage, which, as you can probably guess, is probably going to be a bit higher than my morale pool. Um, but I had the last laugh because I had knives out on and I did 5 million damage back, which was quite amusing. So that's in uh, Bria's bio for all eternity. Um, Okay, so we've done all these quests, we're going to head back to the camp then. Um, yeah, there's loads more ghosts around here. Strange mounds over there, I think that might be an alternative location we could have done the, uh, the digging at. Um, oh, more of it trying, I'll definitely take that on the way past. If I can get it safely. There we go. So I'm getting close to level 27. I've, I've left the uh, the disabler off today, um, just to try and get a bit more traction on the leveling. I mean, I, c I could have that disabled for about a year and show you guys absolutely everything in the game, but it is going to take so long to level up otherwise. I've decided I want to have a bit a bit more of a brisk um, leveling experience in the YouTube series to get up to what's now 100, but will probably be higher than that by the time you get there. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to end up missing quite a lot of stuff. Um, I'll try and show each region uh, along the way, not necessarily everything in that region. Um, so I'll quite possibly end up going back to um, the Lone Lands and showing you guys the eastern side of that at some point. Um, and I won't be doing everything in the North Downs, because there is going to be quite a bit. I'll probably show you guys uh, Astelden, which is where the rangers live. Um, and also Oscarif in uh, in the Lone Lands. And probably the area around Garth of Garwin, which is one of the instance areas. Because um, that's quite a tricky, challenging area. And quite a strange, cosmetic uh, looking area as well. There's some nice bits and pieces over that way. But uh, yeah, as I've said before, the Lone Lands is free so if you're a brand new player you're probably just going to level there entirely um, whereas the North Downs shares the similar kind of level range um, but just gives you a different leveling experience um, but back in the day you used to level back and forth between the two so you did one town here one town there um, but these days they're now pretty much independent especially since the North Downs revamp that you can just come to one region take a quest and then just follow the quests all the way through each and every camp, town, village, whatever um, from one end to the other Will you lend me your ear? Um, take the horse from Minchin's camp to Tamlorn Tamlorn is somewhere oh, so the very southwest is just flickering over there, you can barely see it but uh, yeah, let's have a look. So presumably this is going to relate something to do with that ghost woman. Disable burning idols. Okay, so it's the totems. We're going to end up aggroing so much stuff going in this place. Sapphires! Ah, screw it, I'm going to have to kill you, aren't I? I 
Actually, as well, when I level up, I should have a new trait point, which would be quite nice. Even if it's just going to buy me a rank of something I've already got. Um, do I need to kill the Oathbreakers? Probably not. Get the totem. And I'll wait. Uh, another totem over here. Something's found me. So I'm going to assume she's going to be at the top and the back of this fortress. I just need to find a way up the top. Okay. Now, hopefully, if I sneak around the back, dog isn't going to see me. There we go. Because he's out of line of sight. That's that one done. Uh, how do I get upstairs? Down this way, maybe? It's pretty dark in this area. Uh, no, is the answer to that question. Okay, let's try around the other way. I'm definitely not missing anything around here, am I? Hang on. Hello. Stealth. See if I can sneak past him. Haha! -ha! I'm devious. I think you may have seen me there. We turned around there. Uh, so I'm guessing over in that distant purple bit is probably where we need to go. Ah, crap it! Well, at least I've destroyed it before he's interrupted me. Uh, three of six. There's two over in the purple corner. Let's go there then. Okay, nothing down there. Oh. Stealth. Just save this bit of time and effort. Um, well, actually, I can go in there. Whoop. Jump in the window. Let's go. Okay, there's actually three totems. Even better. Okay, one, two, oh damn it, I deactivated my stealth straight afterwards as well, might as well kill this guy now then. I'm guessing this is probably, got, yeah it's got a quest ring in it so it's probably her. Interrupt, no special attack for you sir. Right, there she is. Just, just wait a second, wench. I'm just going to destroy your totem. Don't mind me. Okay, job done. Right, what do you want? You want to burp in my face. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, God, you're going to attack me as well? That's not sporting, is it? Alright, stun you. You can have go to sleep while I... Finish off your buddies. I think I might as well chug a health pot while I'm at it. Right. This is probably going to be a bit tricky. So I'm just going to wait until she's about to come out of her stun. And then I'm going to stab her up the backside before she turns around. Just to give uh, myself a bit of a chance to regen as much health as possible. While she's doing that, I'm going to pop knives out because she's in mellow range. So she can damage herself with a bit of that. And yep, this seems to be going quite nicely in our favour, so all good. For good measure, I will just stun her quickly, step behind her, stab her up the backside. And that should be that. There we go. Return to Mincham. Hopefully, I can use the horse. I expect stealth. Can I jump out the window? Yes, I can. I can injure myself while jumping out the window. That is a long drop. Probably best not to do that. Supply crate, I'll have that. There we go. Um, I think trying to ride past the ghosts might be a bit ambitious. I might be a bit too densely packed for that. 
Oh, we can't get past that one though. Stealth. Please don't see me. Thank you. Um, I'm about to walk straight past the ghost though. Oh, he's upstairs. It's fine. Uh, yeah, screw it. it. Should be fine now. Maybe not. Horse. Hey, okay, hopefully the arrow seems to be moving, so hopefully it's pointing to a nearby horse. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Back to camp. I think that should hopefully be the end of this quest line. Graze the shadow upon my heart. And ding! Level 27. The shadow upon my heart. Oh, no! Not Once more quests! Okay, you're vectoring me to the next guy. That's fine then. Um, I'm an Amran. Which one's that? Okay, it's over that way. It's basically in the right area. So I think... Uh, yeah, next episode we'll head on to the next questing location, which also has a stable master. This is on top of this uh, big hill over here. And he should give us some quests to go all kind of around over to the east here, probably some more into the fields of Fornos to do some stuff. Um, and we'll go do that quest as well. Uh, but for now then, I think we'll stop there, and I'll see you guys next time.